Dear students, we have already observed some techniques to find the cube of a natural number. Also, we see that the cube of a natural number represent the volume of a cube. So, if n denotes the length of a side of a cube, then its volume is denoted by n cube. Let me ask you a question. If the volume of a cube is 216 centimeter cube, then what would be the length of its side? To get the length of the side of the cube, we need to know a number whose cube is 216. Finding the square root, as you know, is the inverse operation of squaring. Similarly, finding the cube root is the inverse operation of cube. The symbol as shown on screen denotes the cube root. Today, we discuss some interesting methods and some simple tricks to find the cube root of a number. Method 1 through prime factorization method. Let us take an example. Consider a number 3375. Its prime factors are given as follows. 3375 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5. That is equal to 3 cube into 5 cube. That is equal to 3 into 5 whole cube. Therefore, 3375 is equal to 3 into 5 whole cube and hence cube root of 3375 is equal to 15. Let us take one more example. Say 74088. Now its prime factors are given as follows. 74088 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7 that is equal to 2 cube into 3 cube into 7 cube that is equal to 2 into 3 into 7 whole cube therefore 74088 can be written as 2 into 3 into 7 whole cube therefore cube root of 74088 is equal to 42. Here we note that if in the prime factorization of any number each factor appears three times then the number is a perfect cube. The following table gives an interesting fact about the number of digits in a perfect cube number whose cube roots are from 1 to 100. Let us observe the table. In the first column, we have cube root numbers. In the second column, we have number of digits in the perfect cubes. 1 and 2, in the second column, they contain one digit. 3 and 4, in the second column, they contain two digits. 5 to 9, contains three digits. 10 to 21 contains four digits. 22 to 46 contains five digits. 47 to 99 contains six digits. And 100 up to 215 contains seven digits. Also, we observe the following facts about the units digits of perfect cube numbers and their cube roots. Fact 1. The unit digit of the cube roots and the corresponding perfect cubes are same for the digits 1, 4, 5, 
6, 9 and 0. Fact 2. If the units digit of a perfect cube number is 2 or 8, then the unit digit of their cube root is 8 or 2 respectively. Fact 3. If the units digit of a perfect cube number is 3 or 7, then the unit digit of their cube root is 7 or 3 respectively. Okay. With this background, let us observe one simple technique which helps us to find the cube root of higher digit numbers very easily. Let us take an example. Example 1. What is the cube root of 9261? Then observe the following steps. Step 1. Let us take the three digits starting from the rightmost as one group and the remaining as the other group by putting a bar below them. Step 2. First group that is in the example it is 261 will give you the unit digit of the required cube root by taking its unit digit. Here it is 1. Hence the units digit in the answer is 1. Step 3. Now let us take the remaining part that is 9. Look at 2 cube is equal to 8 and 3 cube is equal to 27 such that 2 cube is less than 9 is less than 3 cube. Step 4. By taking the smaller number in the above inequality, we observe that the tens digit in the answer must be 2. Hence, the answer is 21. That is, the cube root of 9261 is equal to 21. Let us take next example. What is the cube root of 6 lakhs 14,000? 125. It contains 6 digits. Let us observe the following steps. Step 1. 6,14,125 can be make it into two groups. First group containing 614. Second group containing 125. Step 2. Since the unit place in 125 is 5, it is clear that the units place of the answer is also 5. Step 3. 8 cube less than 614 which is less than 9 cube. Step 4. By considering the smaller number in the above inequality, the tenth digit in the answer must be 8. Hence, the cube root of 6,14,000 125 is 85. Do you find this very interesting? Okay, let us take one more example. What is the cube root of 2,38,328 which is again a six digit number. Let us observe the following steps. Step 1. 2,38,328 can be make it into two groups such that first group contains 2, 3, 8, second group contains 3, 2, 8. Step 2. Since the unit digit of 328 is 8, the unit digit place in the answer must be 2. For this, you let us see the fact 2 in the above chart. Step 3. Look at 6q is less than 238 which is less than 7 cube. Step 4. Now by considering the smaller number in the above inequality, the tenth place in the answer must be 6. Therefore, by this we can observe that the cube root of 2,38,328 is just 62. 
Is that interesting? Okay. Let us take one more example. Now, 1,48,877, which is again a six-digit number. Let us observe the following steps in this case. Step 1. Let us make the given digits into two groups. First group contains 148. Second group contains 877. Step 2. The units place in 877 is 7 and therefore the units place in the answer must be 3. Please observe the fact 3 in the above chart. Step 3. Look at 5 cube is less than 148 which is less than 6 cube. Step 4. By considering the smaller number in the above inequality, the tenth digit in the answer must be 5 only. Hence, the cube root of 1,48,877 is 53 only. Do you find it is very interesting? So like this, we can apply this technique on their digits and find the answers very easily if the given number must be a perfect Q number. Uh, let us observe one very interesting special fact about cubes. Consider the number 1729. In fact, this is a, a very special number called as Hardy Ramanujan number. What is the speciality of this number? Yes, it is the smallest four digit number which can be expressed as the sum of two cubes in two different ways as 1729 is equal to 9 cube plus 10 cube which is also equal to 1 cube plus 12 cube. Similarly, there are some other numbers also with the same property as they can be expressed as sum of two cubes in two different ways. For example, the next number is 4104 which can be written as 9 cube plus 15 cube which is also equal to 2 cube plus 16 cube. One more example 13832 is equal to 18 cube plus 20 cube which is also equal to 2 cube plus 24 cube. Let us recall the concepts we discussed in this lesson. First we observed that the inverse operation of q is cube root. Next, we saw prime factorization method to find the cube root of a perfect cube number. Then, by observing the nature of the units digits of perfect cube number and their cube root, we find one simple technique to find the cube root of higher digit numbers very easily. I hope this lesson is very useful for your studies. Thank you very much and goodbye.